All right, let's do the normal ending into the fire. そのこの場所に散っておりますああ、俺でも感じる。ここまでの力を持つ奴らが相手だ。これが最後の戦い、だろ。はい。おそらくは。なら、何も出し惜しむ必要はないな。力いっぱい。正真正銘の本気で行くぜ。最後の一踏ん張りってやつだね。俺も頑張ってみようかな。最後の戦いであろうと何も変わらん。全力で行くぞ。俺たちの未来のために寝て暮らせる明日のために。Okay, you guys done talking now. Wow, that was probably the longest, you know, dialogue that wasn't actually a cutscene in the game. I'm serious. Anyway, similar to this battle on the true ending path, we just have to defeat all the Orochi clones. Uh, hmm, Attack of the Show is on. Might as well check that out while I'm commentating this. Look at these assholes. Yeah, I already kicked their asses once. We'll do it again. Yeah, this shouldn't be tough. And you notice this is a short video. Yeah, I cut the credits out. I'm not going to show that more than once. <laughs> the credit roll is the same. You just get a different backdrop. I talked about that in the true ending. And here you get big dumbass. That's right. Let's get this over with. Look at that shit. Just send a bunch of dumbasses flying. Hey, sit down. Yeah, see, and I know what to do in this battle now, too, so it'll be quicker. <laughs> Yeah, that'll help. You know, I went and saw Prometheus today. Gotta say, it is exactly what I expected. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil it, you know, for those who are saying, Oh no, please don't talk about it, I haven't seen it yet. No, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm just gonna say it's exactly what I expected, you know. And there's rumors floating around about it and shit that, you know, I'm talking that aren't spoilers, but just rumors floating around. And, well, you know. I'm not, like I said, I don't really want to confirm or deny said rumors. I'm just going to say it's what I expected. I mean, it was an excellent film. I don't regret going to see it. It was well done. I mean, everything from the set pieces to the uh, acting to, you know, the whole story. It was excellent, excellent film. And, you know, I'm waiting for that one to release so I can get, my, get a copy of it. Because that's one that I'll watch again and again and again and again. But, you know, yeah, one of those type of films. And, you know, honestly, it's about time we get a good sci-fi movie with a big budget and an R rating. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking sick and tired of all this PG-13 bullshit Hollywood's been pumping out lately. I mean, what was it, last summer we didn't have it, there wasn't a single decent R flick, it was all this PG-13 garbage that, you know, it's like, come on. <laughs> what, what happened to the good old days, you know? Movies like, you know, Beverly Hills Cop and fucking Die Hard were in the theater. I'm not saying that a movie has to be filled with excessive cursing and, you know, excessive gore to be good, but all of these movies are with these PG... You know, all this PG-13 rating shit appealing to the teeny boppers is just getting old. I mean, it's fucking... That, 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 that shit is just flooding the market now. Like last summer, I don't think there was a single decent R flick. Or was that the summer before? I don't remember. And I know a few years ago, the only D, the only R flick that released that came out in that summer was Wanted, and that was just. Eh. 
so-so. You know, everything else was PG-13 crap. Oh yeah, Live Free or Die Hard came the same year, which was shitty PG-13. Now, the, I have a serious problem with that. I mean, fucking John McClane is not a PG-13 character. I mean, it's not, yeah, sure, you know, he goes around and beats the shit out of terrorists, that's what he does. But, you know what? In a PG-13 movie, he's not going to be throwing out his yippee ki motherfucker line. I mean, come on, what the hell? Uh, John McClane is not John McClane unless he can cuss like a sailor, because that's just who the character is. That's, you know, how he was originally originally created made in the first Die Hard movie in the second even in the less than deep good third movie which well, I guess it was okay but so you know there's another Die Hard movie coming next year and I bet it's gonna be shitty PG-13 also and that will piss me off I will not go to it and I, I didn't go to the last one I mean I eventually saw it when it aired on network television because you know what what's the fucking point there, you know, network television cuts out the swear words, but if it's PG-13, McLean isn't going to be McLean anyway. Yeah, I kind of totally got off subject there, but you guys know what I'm doing anyway. We've, you've seen me do this before. I'm more or less fighting the same battle I've already fought, so I don't really feel that I need to spend the entire 15 minutes talking about this battle or the game or what's going on in said game battle, because y'all know what the fuck I'm doing. We're just going for a different ending. You know, this is the ending I think you'll get if you don't, like, find half the characters or something like that. I don't know. If you were to just run through all the battles, forget the redos and all that other shit, this is probably the ending you would get. But if you get the true ending first, it automatically unlocks. Yeah, whatever. You, get, you guys get it. Yeah, come on, Matsukaze. Let's go. Eh, go wipe out more of these snake idiots. Where am I exactly? Okay, heading to the middle. It's a dumbass directly above me. I have to take the long way to get to him, which is annoying as hell. Where am I going? What are you doing, dumbass? Yeah, exactly. Go up there. Yeah, there I'm running into stuff again, which I'm a professional at running into shit. I have seriously mastered the art of running into shit. I guess I felt like killing this guy. And it, it still didn't kill him. That, that's that's just lame. That's just really lame right there. I mean, how dare you not die? Hmm. Yes, but you know, if you yes, yeah, so if you like Ridley Scott's work, though, you have to see Prometheus. Oh, here's something I will throw out there. It's not exactly a spoiler because if you haven't seen it, you won't know what I'm talking about. But um, I think Ridley Scott played Dead Space. Seriously. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, Dead Space, you know, more or less was a tribute to a classic horror film that I don't want to throw the name out of right now. And, but, Prometheus, yeah, there's a, there's a serious Dead Space reference in there. I mean, there's, if you, if you loved the first Dead Space and you finished it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when that takes place. Like, oh, that, yeah, I get it. So, um, the uh, way I saw that, I'm like thinking, wow, cool, that's like a tribute to a tribute of a tribute. If that makes any sense to anybody. I don't know, you, you have to see the movie to get what I'm talking about, but if you haven't seen the movie, I haven't ruined anything for you. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, there's a Dead Space reference in there. And it's, well, it, it's, at least I saw it as a Dead Space reference because, you know, I play Dead Space so goddamn much that, you know, I just see this shit. If that makes any sense to anybody whatsoever, either. I can go up here and kill this idiot. Come here, you dumbass. Yeah, that's right. Guess it'll take another round. Oh, well. Come on, Orochi, you big pussy. That's right. Sit down. Yeah, like that was hard. Mr. Jesus, I almost think I should have bumped up to chaos. There's, like, literally no challenge at this point in the game. <laughs> Well, everybody's huge. I mean, Yue Yang might be, like, 25 or so, but she's still strong enough to take these idiots. I think Zhao Yun and Yuki Mura are in their 50s or close to it. I'm just sitting on the horse beating this guy up because apparently I don't feel like getting off the horse. That requires effort. You know, that's extra X button presses. Why would I press the X button more times than I need to, right? Uh, yeah. Three of these dumbasses left. Okay.
Uh, yeah, go this way, stupid. Back here by my base, which is still here. That's cool. Thank you for leaving my base alone, you dumbasses. Yeah, look at this idiot. <laughs> These guys just suck. Yeah, look at that, you dumbass. That's right. You just stand there all day until I beat on you. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. And a nice little C3 there. You're done, you dumbass. Meanwhile... Maybe I should go find a chicken and see if I can make her eat a whole chicken again. <laughs> I don't know. Did I really need to kill that guard? Apparently. Let's go, dumbass. More of these snake assholes that need to be killed. Mm hmm. I don't even know what they're talking about on AOTS. I don't really care. <laughs> I just gotta keep it on and like if something interests me then maybe I'll turn the volume on, but whatever. Let's see here. Oh look at that. Dumbass snake man go away. Bye Orchie. Hey there's Dodgy. Dodgy, I need you to move in front of me, please. Or I'll just ride off, that's fine. Uh another minor officer over here. Am I going to get him? Yeah, Diamondback. Okay. Look at all these assholes. Yeah, they just got owned, too. Fry him. <laughs> Look at that shit. Is that like a 80 kills right there? Yeah, something like that. It's fucking crazy. That's one of the great thing about this game. You can kill a whole lot of these fuckers in, like, literally seconds. <laughs> We're talking like hundreds of KOs in like 30 seconds or less. It's it's doable. Oh shit. You tell me I can't get to him from here. That that's irritating and, and I'm going to have to go all the way around now. Let's go. It's actually not that far. It's just right around this corner and down, but still. It's a pain in the ass. I like to just run down there and taken the clown out and been done with it. Nah, we're gonna take the scenic route. Enjoy this nice scenery. Look at this fire and brimstone shit. I could even take out this guy just because I feel like it. Why not? I have an attack boost. Uh, this guy is gonna be dead before I finish my attack. Oh, okay, I guess Yukimura is doing it. I couldn't decide who to use against him, apparently. There we go. C3. Done. Yes, Oblivion claims you. Go away, Orochi. And now, the normal ending. Right, there's a normal ending. Which, if there's going to be another Orochi game, then this that's probably the canon ending. Either that one or the the next one, the good one. Which, there's still two battles to go to get to that one. There's uh, 
a lead-in battle and then the actual battle that does the good ending. So yeah, we got two more recordings to go. That's yeah, uh, oh, not all that bad, though. <laughs> Trying to decide what to keep here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, not difficult. Look at all that shit. All those bonds raised. That's cool. Alright, I'll be back with the next recording.